Hello guys, welcome to the second video of this series, so let's get started. We have a lot to do, let's create a new project. Um, and I'm gonna select Windows Form application, okay. Uh, the name is very uh, intriguing, but I think I'm gonna call this Jarvis because it is very easy to know what we are talking about. So, in this video, I'm gonna add the speech recognition capability. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about a little bit uh, of this uh, workflow, okay? A little bit of Visual Studio. So, uh, if you don't, don't subscribe yet, you can do this right now uh, while I'm loading the Visual Studio. Okay, the Visual Studio is loading the interface. Okay. So, uh, this is our project, okay? I'm gonna uh, publish this on the GitHub, so you can download there. Let's get started. I'm gonna increase this a little bit, okay? Let's just uh, change some properties. I'm gonna click in properties, and I'm gonna uh, change the name. I'm gonna call this Jarvis feed of version let's call version 0.1 so this is going to be the version 0.1 okay let's uh let's get started first of all we are going to add uh, the dll or, or or the library for speech recognition we are going to add this library as you can see uh, this is a little bit of a little bit of uh, s s slow. Let's add this namespace. Okay, we have this namespace. We are going to double click this form, and we can see the actual code. Let's see. Okay, here we are. Uh, so this is the code. Uh, if you don't know how to use speech recognition, you can check my tutorial on speech recognition. Uh, System that speech dot recognition. Uh, so adding speech recognition. Let's declare some variables. I'm gonna comment uh, as much as I can. Okay, so let's. Uh, uh, create an object okay let's just name a object i'm gonna call private uh speech recognition engine engine okay uh so let's create some methods i'm gonna create a method to load speech okay i'm gonna call load speech this is I think that's a good name. Let's uh, use uh, exception handling. Try catch. Uh, let's see. Try catch. I'm gonna catch this exception. And uh, when I get exception, I'm gonna call a message box. Okay, message box. And I'm gonna print the message. Okay. Plus uh, the message plus. Uh, the trace back. Let's see, trace, stack trace. Uh, let me see, I'm forgetting something. Okay, okay, so we're going to show this. Let's uh, create an instance of this object engine by type engine e equal new. Okay, this is creating, creating instance 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 okay, instance of a recognizer okay let's define the input uh, set the microphone let's create let's add actually a grammar okay uh, Add the detection 
Rama. Let's create an event for the speech recognition. Uh, I'm gonna call it rec of recognition. Okay. Let's create this method right here. Okay. Let me see. This is the uh, the recognition event. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let's add another event, which is going to be the audio audio level. Okay. Let me see. Uh. uh okay. Event handler. Okay, event audio lab update args. Let's call it audio level. I think it's a good name. Uh, this event occurs when the audio level okay changes. Let's copy this. I'm gonna come here and private void paste object sender other level dates event args. So let's see what we have here. Am I getting some uh, exception? Let's try to run this and see if in and see if the, it is is gonna. Uh, let me see. Okay, let's try another another. Oh, I for I forget I totally I totally forget it here. It's this event. Okay, I was typing correctly. Okay, that was a mistake. Okay, so let's try to compile this and see if we don't get any error. Okay, uh, the compilation was successful. Let's uh, let's start the recognition. Let's, uh, recognize async because we are working. We have uh, Windows form, so we need to do this asynchronously. Uh, this is pretty much all that we need. Let's uh, start the recognition. Recognition. Okay. So uh, let's call the speech Spe load speech here. Okay. Because this event occurs, uh, let's say uh, this method occurs when loaded. Okay, so this is the entry point for our project. Let me see. Okay, we have the audio level. Let's add a progress bar. Uh, where's my okay. Where's my designer tuba? Where's my two box? Okay, here's my two box. Let's add a progress bar okay. a Progress bar. Let me see where Should I put this progress bar? I think right here or right here. I don't know here or here. Uh, I'm gonna add a right here. You can add wherever you want. Okay, so let's uh, change the properties of this object. First, uh, the first property we're going to add is the anchor point. We are going to add to this location because, as you can see, is in, in the top right. Okay. 
so this is our uh, progress bar we can we are going to see the audio leveled up let's came here and call this dot progress bar one dot um, value or oh, sorry maximum it's going to be equal 100 this dot progress bar dot value is going to be e dot audio level which is provided from this we can get this from this event okay so let's run this and we're going to see some uh, uh, audio events is it running okay hello as you can see okay uh, my microphone is not that loud, so as you can see Okay, okay, but, is, but you can see we can see that okay, so it depends on the uh, on your microphone But okay So that's it. Uh, let's add a label. Okay Let's first of all, let's get this speech. Okay string speech is equal to e dot result dot text uh, Text okay Let's add a conditional, 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 uh, if e dot result dot confidence, this is a float variable, is greater than 0 0.45 float, we are going to execute this portion of code, okay? Let's add a label. Let's add a label. This is a label. Let's uh, increase a little bit. Let me see uh, the font. Font. Okay, font. Let's change the font of this label. I'm gonna choose between uh, something uh, between 12. 12, I think, is an, a good size. Okay. Uh, again, let's change the anchor properties. But this is already in the in the right position. Uh, let's uh, change the text because I don't don't like this text. Let's uh, let's change to you. Okay, one you. I uh, okay you. So let's uh, call this dot label one dot text, which is going to be equal you plus speech so uh, I think that's great let's run hello it is good this is awesome this is awesome good day good night good night Okay, as you can see, the speech recognition is working. We have the the audio level thing. Okay, this is a great way to get started. I'm gonna change. Uh, I don't know this font. I don't know maybe this font is is in. It is in a good size, but I don't know actually. So this is uh the first step in order to create our uh, virtual assistant. Uh, if you like this video, just give this video a big thumbs up, it would be great, okay? And in the next videos, we are going to discuss some other night things, okay? So, this is all, see you later.